Now as you see, it's running pretty good. I had about 3100 RPMs. I think you have to create like 3600 RPMs to create a really good 60 hertz um, signal. So if you're running, you know, a lot of heavy loads. And as you can see, I'm still going right through the carburetor. And I got the governor. So if the load comes up, I can still use the governor. And it's pulling right through the carburetor. And I did have to cut this pipe out here because I actually did have a 90 over here. The 90 turned, but I couldn't get it to run. It was like changing the velocity of air. So um, I put this on, and now it's working great. I'll weld another bar in here later that will go maybe around and come back up again to stabilize it. But there it is. A little simpler if somebody has to use just a carburetor and don't want to take it off. You still have to use the carb, the governor, and I don't have to change like everybody's always adjusting the airflows, it will just stay running at 31 if it needs the governor for the load. I can also set the governor as a screw in there. I can get a little bit more speed out of it if I want to. Or I'm not done with this. Um, there's actually later going to be a PMA alternator. That's why I took the pool start off being driven off this with the PMA. And there should be no, no drag, no cogging. And I'm going to show you what's going to happen next. But this is the beginning. Simple, easy. And then next what I'm going to do too is I'm going to see am I really saving fuel. No one's ever done that. I haven't seen it. So I'll run it off the gas. I'll probably wide this over here and I drip it into another canister to keep a, a, a level. And I might like start with 12 ounces um, to see how long it runs on itself. And 12 ounces, you know, in there. And then I'll do a calculation. We'll figure out am I really gaining anything. So... Another thing to play with, so I'll get back to you later. Have a great day.